venturing where they shouldn't. These daring individuals entered the realm of majestic bears, seeking an extraordinary encounter. But what began as a thrill-seeking adventure soon turned into a harrowing tale of survival. Join us as we delve into the gripping stories of women who crossed boundaries, only to face the untamed ferocity of these awe-inspiring creatures. Story 1 The zoo, nestled on the outskirts of a quaint British town, was a sanctuary of serenity for both its animal residents and the visitors who marveled at the diverse array of creatures within its enclosures. Among the many inhabitants, Grace the Grizzly Bear held a special place, a gentle giant whose amber eyes reflected a soul touched by both wilderness and a history of rescue. Grace had found solace in the zoo after a turbulent past, where the traumas of her former life slowly faded into the gentle care she received from Maya, her devoted handler. Under Maya's diligent watch, Grace flourished, becoming a beloved attraction known for her docile demeanor and her remarkable bond with the visitors. But fate, like a capricious breeze, can change course in an instant. Maya, attuned to Grace's nuances, had sensed a subtle shift in the bear's behavior, a restless undercurrent in her otherwise calm temperament. She attributed it to the complexities of a wild heart, trying to adapt to captivity. On an ordinary day that would transmute into a chapter etched in the zoo's history, Maya went about her routine of meticulously tending to Grace's enclosure. The faint echoes of children's laughter and the hum of curious visitors filled the air, creating a symphony of joy and wonder within the zoo's confines. However, the tranquil ambiance shattered into a cacophony of terror as gut-wrenching screams sliced through the air. Maya whipped her head around, her eyes widening in horror as she witnessed the unimaginable. Eliana, a 17-year-old girl, intoxicated and reckless, had breached the barriers and slipped into Grace's sanctuary. In that fleeting moment, the harmony between Grace and her surroundings shattered. The bear, confronted with an unwelcome intrusion, felt an instinctual surge of alarm and agitation. Eliana's inebriated state obscured the looming danger. Her intentions were misguided by a false sense of confidence as she approached the formidable animal. Grace's primal instinct surged forth as she lunged at the intruder, her massive form hurtling forward with lightning speed. Eliana stumbled, a gasp escaping her lips as she fell to the unforgiving ground, the impact jolting her senses. In a frenzy of fury and fear, Grace's claws and jaws became a tempest of chaos, tearing through Eliana's flesh, her face, head, arms, and shoulders with an unforgiving ferocity. Maya's voice rose above the chaos, a desperate plea to quell the violence. She shouted Grace's name with an urgency born of both love and a primal need to protect. But the bear, consumed by a surge of territorial aggression, remained ensnared in a maelstrom of instincts, impervious to Maya's pleas. The zoo's emergency response team, trained to handle such crises, swiftly mobilized. Their practice precision unleashed tranquilizer darts that found their mark, plunging into Grace's thick fur, sedating the frenzied bear. As the tension ebbed, Paramedics rushed onto the scene, their swift actions tending to the grievous wounds that adorned Eliana's face, head, neck, and arms. The air carried the metallic tang of blood as they worked fervently to stabilize her, a testament to the severity of the ordeal she endured. Miraculously, Eliana clung to life, though her body bore the harrowing scars of the bear's onslaught. Amidst the turmoil, she was whisked away to the hospital, where a battle against time and trauma ensued. The aftermath brought a tide of repercussions. Eliana, now stripped of the veil of intoxication, faced the stark reality of her actions. The law, unforgiving in its pursuit of justice, levied charges of trespassing and underage drinking against her. The incident cast a pall over the zoo, a poignant reminder of the precarious balance between humanity's fascination with the wild and the immutable laws that govern it. For Maya, the event was a poignant testament to the dichotomy of nature. The tender bond she shared with Grace juxtaposed against the untamed instincts that coursed through the bear's veins. The town's chatter buzzed with speculation, the incident at the zoo rippling through conversations like a stone cast into a placid pond. Eliana's recklessness had sparked a chorus of opinions, some condemning her actions, others expressing sympathy for the grievous injuries she endured. The dichotomy of opinions wove a complex tapestry of perspectives, each thread a reflection of the human condition our simultaneous capacity for empathy and judgment. The zoo, once an oasis of serenity, now bore the scars of that chaotic moment. 
The vibrant, bustling haven that had welcomed families and enthusiasts alike now wore an air of somber reflection. The enclosure that housed Grace stood as a monument to the precarious balance between the wild and the curated safety of captivity. Within the zoo's walls, Maya, Grace's dedicated handler, grappled with an emotional tempest. Her bond with the grizzly bear transcended mere duty. It was a kinship forged through countless shared moments of trust and understanding. Grace's well-being had been her sacred charge, and the events of that day had rattled her to the core. In the wake of the incident, Maya found solace in the familiar routine of caring for the animals. Each day dawned with the soft rays of the sun painting the landscape in hues of amber and gold, a serene backdrop against the symphony of the awakening zoo. Her mornings began with meticulous checks of the enclosures, ensuring the comfort and safety of the myriad inhabitants that called the zoo home. The routine, once a seamless dance of familiarity, now bore the weight of solemnity, a reminder of the delicate balance between trust and unpredictability. Grace's enclosure, nestled within a verdant expanse, beckoned Maya with a mixture of apprehension and steadfast determination. As she approached, memories flooded her mind, a montage of moments shared with the majestic bear, from tranquil feeding times to playful interactions that elicited gentle rumbles of contentment from Grace. But today was different. The air crackled with an undercurrent of tension, an unspoken reminder of the events that had forever changed the rhythm of the zoo. Maya's heart weighed heavy with the burden of uncertainty, her gaze lingering on Grace's enclosure with a mixture of apprehension and unwavering dedication. She observed Grace, the bear's movements echoing a quiet reserve. The amber orbs that once radiated warmth now held a glimmer of inscrutability, a testament to the wildness that resided within. Maya's fingertips grazed the chain-link fence that separated her from the bear, a physical barrier that mirrored the intangible complexities of their bond. The days bled into weeks and the zoo continued its steady cadence, albeit tinged with an aura of caution. Visitors, once eager and carefree, now navigated the pathways with cautious reverence, their gazes lingering on Grace's enclosure, a testament to the lingering specter of that harrowing day. Amidst the ebb and flow of visitors and whispered conversations, Maya found herself ensconced in a delicate dance, nurturing the animals under her care while grappling with the weight of responsibility that rested upon her shoulders. In the twilight hours, as the sun painted the horizon in hues of fiery red and ethereal violet, Maya often lingered by Grace's enclosure. The fading light cast elongated shadows, painting an otherworldly picture a solemn ode to the intricate dance between captivity and the untamed spirit of the wild. Each day blurred into the next, a procession of moments woven into the fabric of Maya's existence. The wounds, both physical and emotional, slowly healed, leaving behind scars that bore testament to resilience and the immutable passage of time. Grace, the enigmatic grizzly bear, remained an enigma, a silent sentinel within her verdant sanctuary. The bear's demeanor ebbed and flowed like the tides, a reflection of the intricate nuances of a creature torn between two worlds. The weeks turned into months, and the incident, once a raw wound, became a distant memory, a chapter in the zoo's storied history. Visitors returned, their laughter and curious chatter once again adorning the pathways like colorful threads woven into a tapestry of life. Maya's bond with Grace endured, weathered by the tumultuous storm that had swept through their tranquil haven. With each passing day, she navigated the intricate maze of emotions, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of challenges. Story 2 We understand the fascination with bears, their majestic creatures, embodying a blend of strength and grace that captivates the imagination. For Bella, a girl from Germany, this allure transcended mere fascination. It was an obsession. Her heart beat with an ardent passion for these creatures, their mystique woven into the very fabric of her being. Her journey led her to an animal conservation center nestled amidst the verdant landscapes, a haven where rescued animals found solace and healing. Among these fortunate beings was Alexander, a black bear whose beginnings were shrouded in the shadows of a traveling circus. Rescued as a vulnerable cub, Alexander had found refuge within the walls of the conservation center transforming from a timid orphan to a beloved resident renowned for his affable nature. His story had resonated with Bella, drawing her to the conservation center with an intensity bordering on reverence. 
As Bella stepped foot into the sanctuary, her eyes scanned the landscape with an eager anticipation that danced within her chest. Her quest to meet Alexander surged forth, a fervor igniting her spirit as she traversed the winding pathways, each step drawing her closer to the object of her obsession. Upon glimpsing Alexander's enclosure, a surge of exhilaration coursed through Bella's veins. The majestic black bear lounged within, a formidable yet beguiling presence that seemed to command the very essence of the space he inhabited. With her camera in hand, Bella was determined to capture every nuance of Alexander's demeanor. The lens clicked and whirred as she framed shots, each click a testament to her adoration for the magnificent creature before her. However, amidst the click of the camera and the silent admiration, an intrusive thought slithered into Bella's mind, a whisper of temptation that dared her to venture closer, to seize a moment frozen in time. Her heart raced with trepidation, the allure of a closer photograph warring with the rational voice of caution. The desire for the perfect shot tugged at her, luring her closer to the threshold of Alexander's enclosure. In a fleeting moment of reckless abandon, Bella succumbed to the pull of temptation. With cautious steps, she slipped past the boundaries, her senses tingling with a mixture of excitement and unease. The air crackled with silent tension, the weight of her decision settling upon her shoulders like an unseen burden. As Bella neared Alexander, a chilling realization dawned. An onlooker had noticed her breach of the enclosure's sanctity. Panic surged through the witness, a horrified scream shattering the tranquility of the conservation center. The shrill cry pierced the air, an ominous harbinger that shattered the fragile peace. Chaos erupted as the alarm spread, the pandemonium reaching Alexander's keen ears. Startled by the sudden cacophony, Alexander's tranquil demeanor fractured. His instincts, honed by years of survival in the wild, surged forth in a surge of territorial protectiveness. With a thunderous roar, Alexander charged towards Bella, a blur of ebony fur hurtling through the air, his powerful form descending upon her with a ferocity that eclipsed his once docile demeanor. Bella's world shattered as she fell to the unforgiving ground, Alexander's towering presence casting a foreboding shadow over her. The black bear, a symphony of primal rage, unleashed a torrent of fury upon her, a savage display of dominance that manifested in brutal bites and slashing claws. The onlookers, frozen in terror, watched in horror as the tableau of chaos unfolded before their disbelieving eyes. Alexander's handlers, numbed by shock and terror, stood rooted to the ground, their minds unable to comprehend the nightmarish spectacle playing out before them. Amidst the frenzied assault, the emergency response team mobilized with calculated precision. Trained to navigate crises of this magnitude, they swiftly intervened, their tranquilizer darts finding their mark on the enraged bear. As the sedative coursed through Alexander's veins, the tempest of violence ebbed, leaving behind a haunting silence punctuated by the lingering echoes of chaos. The paramedics, swift and resolute, tended to Bella's grievous wounds, their practiced hands a beacon of hope amidst the despair. Miraculously, Bella clung to the tenuous thread of life, her body a canvas painted with the harrowing scars of Alexander's onslaught. The paramedics orchestrated a race against time, their efforts a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In the aftermath of the chaos, the conservation center was cloaked in a solemn pall, a testament to the fragility of human curiosity and the untamed spirit of the wild. Bella, whisked away to the confines of the hospital, grappled with the physical and emotional aftermath of the brutal encounter. Her body bore the visceral imprints of Alexander's fury, each scar a poignant reminder of the boundaries that should never be crossed. Meanwhile, Alexander, a creature caught in the turmoil of instinct and captivity, was relocated to a secluded enclosure, a measure undertaken to prevent further incidents born of the tumultuous clash between human intrusion and the wild's unfettered sovereignty. The aftermath of the incident taught an important lesson on the consequences of heedless curiosity. Bella found herself thrust into the harsh glare of public scrutiny, charged with trespassing, a harsh example of the ramifications of her impulsive actions. The echoes of that fateful day lingered, a haunting reminder of the fragile line that separated admiration from intrusion. A cautionary tale etched into the annals of the Conservation Center's storied history. And within the confines of the human heart, the indelible scars of an encounter born of unbridled passion and unforeseen consequences remained. An example to the complexities of the human wilderness dynamic. Story 3
In the serene heart of California, nestled within the vibrant sprawl of a zoo, a story unfurled, one of curiosity, danger, and the clash between the wild and the human heart. Faith, a woman with an insatiable curiosity, found herself drawn inexplicably to the majestic inhabitants of the zoo. Her fascination knew no bounds, and one creature held her enraptured, Ariella, the pregnant polar bear. The gentle giants of the Arctic always held a mysterious allure for Faith, and Ariella, with her burgeoning belly, seemed to embody a maternal grace that Faith found mesmerizing. On an unusually tranquil afternoon, the sun painted the sky with a delicate pastel hue, casting a golden glow upon the sprawling zoo. Faith stood at the edge of Ariella's enclosure, her gaze fixed upon the massive creature lounging in the sun-dappled sanctuary. Her mind swirled with wonder and an inexplicable urge to connect with this magnificent being. Unbeknownst to the zoo's vigilant guardians, Faith's curiosity eclipsed her judgment. She found herself contemplating the unthinkable, sneaking into Ariella's enclosure. It was a decision born of an intense desire to bridge the gap between the human and the wild, a yearning for an intimate connection with a creature so magnificent it seemed otherworldly. With cautious steps, Faith ventured closer to the enclosure's perimeter, her heart racing with a heady mixture of trepidation and exhilaration. Ignoring the warning signs and the barriers meant to keep visitors safe, she scaled the fence, propelled by an intoxicating blend of curiosity and an inexplicable pull towards the polar bear. As her feet touched the soft ground within Ariella's sanctuary, a hush fell over the surroundings. The air crackled with tension, a silent symphony of primal instincts alerting the bear to an intruder's presence. Ariella, normally serene and graceful, sensed the intrusion. Her primal instincts flared, detecting an unfamiliar presence in her domain. With a sudden and alarming speed, the pregnant polar bear bolted upright, her massive form cutting through the air as she fixed her gaze upon Faith. Fear clawed its way into Faith's chest as she realized the gravity of her impulsive act. Before she could retreat, Ariella, driven by a primal urge to protect her unborn cubs, lunged forward with astonishing ferocity. The world erupted into chaos. Ariella's massive paws struck with relentless force, tearing through the air in a flurry of claws and fur. Faith's heart pounded in terror as she felt the searing pain of the bear's claws rending through flesh. Her screams pierced the tranquility of the zoo as the brutal reality of the situation crashed upon her. Ariella's maternal instincts had turned into a relentless onslaught of aggression, mauling Faith on her head, face, arms, and shoulders, causing her to bleed profusely. Chaos ensued. Zookeepers, alerted by the commotion, raced to the scene. With adrenaline-fueled urgency, they deployed rubber bullets, their purpose not to harm the majestic creature, but to distract and deter her from inflicting further harm. Ariella, momentarily startled by the barrage, retreated, her eyes filled with a mix of confusion and primal protectiveness. The zookeepers swiftly secured the enclosure, ensuring Ariella's safety and the safety of any potential onlookers. Amidst the chaos, Faith lay battered and broken, her body a canvas of pain and anguish. Emergency responders rushed to her aid, their swift actions a beacon of hope in the midst of tragedy. She was whisked away to the nearest hospital, her survival hanging precariously in the balance. The aftermath of the incident echoed far beyond the confines of the zoo. Faith faced legal repercussions for her impulsive and dangerous act of trespassing. The authorities, while empathetic to her injuries, couldn't overlook the blatant disregard for safety protocols. Meanwhile, experts delved into the heart-wrenching saga, seeking answers amidst the chaos. Their conclusions painted a poignant picture. Ariella, the gentle giant turned aggressor, was merely acting out of an instinctual desire to protect her unborn cubs. Her aggression stemmed from a potent cocktail of maternal instincts and the sudden intrusion into her sanctuary. Faith's survival stood as an example of human resilience in the face of nature's powerful force. Her scars, both physical and emotional, would forever bear witness to the harrowing encounter with the wild. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting its final golden rays upon the world, Faith's ordeal echoed through the corridors of the zoo, an important story of the immeasurable chasm between human curiosity and the untamed heart of the wild.